Nope, not gonna start it again. I started it again. I will never be satisfied. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Miss Ray Ray, and this is going to be a book review on Lev. Lev. Gross or gross? I'm gonna say gross. Lev Grossman's uh, Magicians trilogy. So, this is gonna be a mess of a book review because I have no script. I just have little clear, well not clear, no, they're not even clear. I have little dots of, I guess, the non-spoilery -spoiler important parts of this trilogy, and it is a trilogy. Um, it is the first book is Magicians, then it's the magi Magician's King, and then the Magician's Land. First and foremost, this, to describe this book, in order for you to maybe even think about wanting to read it or watch the TV show, it is... <sighs> I know a lot of people make this comparison, but it's kind of true. It is like if Narnia and Harry Potter personified, they had their own little messy tryst, which, which turned into a baby. This is that baby as an adult. So <laughs> it is essentially that, I guess. <laughs> that made no sense whatsoever. I am sorry. Okay. The main protagonist is a high school graduate named Quentin Coldwater, and he is probably a very, uh, probably very much like a lot of us, um, new adults. He is, uh, he does suffer from depression. He's, uh, complete social outcast, um, like only two friends at least that they mentioned in the book. Um, he is very nostalgic oriented, I guess would be the word to say. He is obsessed with this children's series that he grew up with as a kid and memorized um, called Fillory and Further, and it is about magic and this, and, um, this Narnia-esque world called Fillory and it comes to be that while he's down and out and trying to figure out what he's going to do with his what he's going to do with his life it turns out that this magic that he's been looking for all of his life is real and there's actually a school for it and it's actually a university so Lo and behold, he, it's the perfect time for him to discover this. It is actually not as cliche as I'm making it turn uh, sound. It's, I think that was the premise of this book is like you wanted, it was going to sound cliche for a lot of us. And then we read into it and we realize that, oh, hey, this is kind of a bit of a head turner. Um, it is, uh, has a very real aspect to um, what would happen if magic were real and, you know, the consequences of it being real with, you know, the actual discipline it would take to, um, to be a real magician. The school that he finds, um, is one, it, um, that he gets accepted into is called Break Bills, either Academy or University. I can't entirely, I can't entirely remember it. I actually like um, the character himself, Quentin, because, um, I don't think this is spoiling it. Anyway, uh, the book Quentin is pretty much, he is not the most gifted magi magician. He is not the chosen one as much as he imagined he would be. He, uh, he figures out along the way. He still very much, um, deals with the problems that he didn't think he would have anymore when he learned that magic was real and if anything magic has made his life <laughs> even worse because now he's comparing himself by magical standards not just uh just as much as human standards and everything and it he's a mess and he's he's very much like us 20 year old millennials who suffer from stuff like that he's like i don't know how to describe it. How do you describe someone else's depression? Especially if, like, if you've read it as a product, it's still, 
hard and you it's you can't do it but the, I think this character is very much supposed to be well it can very it can very well represent us uh, uh, 90s kin millennials pretty much because we are just at this time to um, we're struggling with trying to make it into the real real world and we have like these issues with us that we didn't ask for and we don't want and we know there's a problem but sometimes we can't go through them the way we want to and he's realizing that he got his dream magic is real and he is a magician but that's not solving his problem so he has to kind of go on this journey to really solve it and he doesn't well i mean he doesn't realize that but you know story magic it's actually a good book even though i've only done one third of the actual reading i do enjoy this trilogy i think um it's a good starter for any of us who want to get out of the young adult section in the bookstores and go to the actual adult section because this um has very adult themes in it it acted it, and uh it has like as in with the tv show there is um like adult themes in there so if you're under 18 i know you read it anyways but i recommend not doing that because you know adults being adults and it deals with a lot of issues i think we could all really um you know understand empathize maybe with so if you're into magic and the hotter the harder harry potter-esque type worlds then um, I definitely recommend checking this book out. I don't want, I didn't want to mention this, but if I don't, then that's really bad of me. And then it's just kind of adding to the problem that it carries. This book does contain rape for one of the characters. Um, I don't, it, it, it's a spoiler for, to the plot to describe why, but if you are not comfortable with stuff like that, then um, don't read this. I mean, there are a lot of other magi uh, magical stories where girls don't get raped. So I'm sorry if this um, completely just, you know, made you turn around and say, nope, but I, it's my duty as a person to let you know about that. So I am sorry, but if you, think that you can uh, stomach something like that and see if it I mean it see where the story goes after that because there's no real way to make that an up point in any story or life or anything um, then yeah I still recommend um, reading this book if it tickles your fancy if you're a fan of the TV show and wanted to know if the books were worth reading, I would you I would definitely recommend that since you were kind of ahead of the books anyway. Want if you were a fan of the books but wanted to know if the TV show was worth seeing, then yeah, just don't get angry at a lot of the stuff and take and them taking out one of the characters because that's kind of how TV shows work. I'm not in the business, but I can I guess I can understand where some things come from. Um so yeah, that was my mess of a book slash TV review. <laughs> um, if you liked this book review, that's awesome because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I very much appreciate that you enjoy um, me, I guess, giving a book review. Or if you just enjoyed the book itself and wanted to know my opinion, there's that too. Um, Thank you so much for getting to the end of this. I very, very much appreciate it. If you have um, ideas of other things that you want me to do, you can check out my channel and see if you have anything in mind. Um, I also um, review TV shows and other fandom related things and give, and give people like you um, my first impressions of um, fandoms and introducing you to new TV shows um, that are in anime or normal TV or 
video games or anything like that, anything that has a fandom, I kind of review it and give you an introduction of what it's like and what to expect the fandom to be like um, every once in a while when I have the time. I um, showcase artists and writers from different fandoms and give them the spotlight right here and show them that they're appreciated and um, you know give them some time to shine and be merry because I know a lot of artists out there aren't. Uh, so if you have any artists or writers that you want me to take a look at you can tell me um, where to find them and what kind of fandoms they're in so I can do that because I love I uh, it's it's weird I have a weird relationship with uh, artists and writers I basically like give them as much love as possible and they creep away from me saying no so yeah I also do gaming mainly on this channel and I don't know why I'm not good at any of it um, so if you want to check any of those out, that's cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I very, very much appreciate it. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a wonderful life.